when there's terrible traffic and then somebody cuts all the way to the front of a line of like 10 or more cars and just starts weaseling their way in. I really don't like when you have a driver that is, I call it like herky-jerky, where they are often on the brake gas. People thinking they're invincible. People thinking that they're ahead of their machines. Oh, it's so easy. Aggressive drivers. They really bother me. Someone making a negative gesture at you. Tailgating bothers me. My biggest driving pet peeve. Oh, it's uh, like when something terrible has caused traffic. Not, not something terrible, terrible. But when there is terrible traffic, that's what I meant. When there's terrible traffic and then somebody cuts all the way to the front of a line of like 10 or more cars and just starts weaseling their way in, that gets me to start honking. I get really upset when people try to pull that move. I would say, and this probably wouldn't be if I'm driving, but since I get car sick, I, I don't like windy roads and stuff, but I really don't like when you have a driver that is, I call it like herky-jerky, where they are often on the brake gas, or especially when they have both feet, one on the gas and one on the brake at the same time, and they're going, and oh, and I, I remember a taxi ride to the airport in Shanghai, and it's, it was a fairly long drive, and again, you're already, if you get motion sickness, the plane isn't always great either, so you don't want to start off already feeling sick, and I was, felt so sick by the time I got to the airport. So that's probably one of the worst things. People thinking they're invincible, people thinking that they're ahead of their machines. What people don't realize is that that's a machine. Anything can happen to it anytime. There are times when everybody would, everything would go normal for like ages. You don't need ages. You just need that one moment for anything to go wrong. And I have that scare deep down my heart also that I am not ahead of the machinery. I'm not ahead of physics. I'm not ahead of my destiny. When people start thinking they're invincible, that's, that's what I don't like. It, especially in terms of vehicles. We, we all know what happened to Paul Walker. Nobody could have been safer than him, but we all know. Sad story. Oh, it's so easy. Aggressive drivers. They really bother me. I just don't understand why. Like driving aggressively is not getting you to where you need to go any faster. You're just annoying people. I, and I find especially like now, because I'm a newer driver for the second time, I find it really intimidating and it throws me off, especially when I first got my G1. People that would aggressively come up behind you or cut you off, there's no point to it. And it just creates tension. I would say that's like hands down my biggest pet peeve. I'd say another pet peeve would probably be someone making a negative gesture at you because maybe you were driving too slow and they drove next to you and they end up throwing the bird at you or just calling you a name of some sorts. I feel fortunate that hasn't happened a lot, but there, there are those times when that happens. And, and for me, my first reaction, because I, I think I always look at things in a positive light is, oh, I hope, I hope that whatever you're going through isn't so bad. Like, I hope that, I hope that moment was worth it for you to project that out on me. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm inclined to say something like driving way too slow or driving erratically or, but all of that has just become such a normal part of my life. I think I just am used to it now. And I'm like, oh yeah, that, that happens all the time. That being said though, I, I think tailgating bothers me. And since I, I just got to Australia about six weeks ago, I noticed Australians really tailgate. And I think it's because they're just so used to everything being safe and perfect. There aren't any herds of donkeys on the road. There aren't any potholes. So it's safe enough to drive really close to the vehicle in front of you. Like, nothing bad has ever happened to doing that before. So why would it happen this time? Whereas I'm, I, I leave a lot of space to the vehicle in front of me because I'm expecting the most random thing in the world to happen. I also, I don't like road rage. I've definitely tr been with drivers that have it, that are irritated with people. I, I'm sure I've had it at times with traffic. I think for me, it's usually more stressed. And so maybe I'm sort of yelling to myself about the person or the probably the traffic, but it's because I don't like to be late. I don't know that I've really had uh, a lot of major road rage personally. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very calm person. So it would take a lot for me to have road rage. I have been in the 
car before. Actually, it was on a school bus. Because of all the make it up driving, and sometimes I get it wrong. And so you could see people were pretty angry at that. I haven't experienced it firsthand because I'm just not the type of person who would ever end up in that situation. And neither is my partner, honestly. But I've actually seen it happening. And it was quite scary. We used to get the bus to school and our school bus driver got road rage <laughs> because the cars were going very slowly in front of him. And so he decided to reverse and try a different route to get around this kind of blockage in the road because he was getting really furious, this teacher of ours. Uh, and he reversed into a tree <laughs> and then the back bumper fell off the school bus and he, and he made us get out and pick up the bumper all together and shove it inside the school bus and then we got back on and then he drove a different route and we we got to school that's probably the angriest i've ever seen someone <laughs> driving to be honest with you he's very very unhappy that the bumper had come off because he but then he hit the tree so what did he expect it was there was like eight of us <laughs> it was a massive you know like a big yellow school bus kind of thing it was one of them and the wow. bumper was actually really heavy and really big and made of metal because they're not normally metal they're normally like plasticky that's the angriest i've ever seen someone but i'm i'm quite chilled to be honest with you and also when you drive on motorways you don't unless there's slow traffic you don't tend to get as many really bad drivers and they don't tend to be right up your tail kind of thing you get to like a four-way stop sign i remember this really chaotic one in argentina it's right in the middle of Buenos Aires, the, the capital city. So it's a massive, massive city. And I'd actually sat on that intersection and had coffee a few times in this cafe. So I'd watched. And basically every car comes to the four-way stop, doesn't actually stop, keeps going quite quickly and just times it right so that they go by just in front of and behind another vehicle going the other direction. So it's like this constant dance of all the cars almost crashing. But I watched it for hours and hours and there was never a crash and nobody ever got it wrong. And then right near the end of my trip, I had to actually drive through that intersection. And of course I hesitated and chickened out and I slowed down too much. And then that broke the rhythm and then everybody else had to adjust because of what I'd done wrong. And so you could see people were pretty angry at that. They were like, come on, get out of the way. We saw this truck. It was driving down along alongside us in the city of Windsor, which is near Detroit, but still Canada. And it was like a long stretch of industrial road. And this truck cut off a motorcyclist. And I think like initially it was an accident, but the motorcyclist got really angry and he pulled off the road for a minute and then like, Probably two minutes later, he came speeding up behind us and came up alongside the truck and the guy rolled down his window and they were screaming at each other and their arms were going like this and they were swerving all over the road. And we thought they were going to either crash into each other or cause a collision or pull over and fight physically. It was pretty scary until finally the motorcyclist, I think, decided to back out and he drove away. Mm -hmm.